It's nothing major. It's just a little bit from the Target Dollar Spot and a little bit from Michael's. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. The first thing I did, um, they had their Hot Buy paper um, back on sale again. And this one is uh, one of the ones that I didn't get the first time that they had back in stock or if they had pulled some more from the back, I'm not really sure. But it's really pretty. It's called Safe Freeze. They actually have um, a washi set that is named the same thing that matches this and in, and this one's from craftsmith but it's got some really um cute paper i'm probably going to do my first i love anytime they give you the numbers but i'm probably going to do the says ornaments aren't they gorgeous i really do think that this is probably going to end up being one of my first pocket letters that I create is going to come from this particular pad i just really like the rustic um, vibe that it has. I love all these papers. These right here, these are just the cutest things ever. And I think that some of these would make really, really good. Um, like this one, especially with this buffalo plaid behind it. It says, um, snowed in and loving it. Um, here's to a very jolly and happy Christmas. I mean, there's just several like this that would make very good um, covers for an Erin Condren, and so I thought about maybe using them for that too, but, um, I do need a laminating machine. I'm not going to be able to get one anytime soon. I love the, um, glittery berries on this one, but yeah, I just thought it was a really cool pack. I like the vibe that it has, you know, this craft paper slash country feel. Um, you know, of course, everybody's really into the buffalo plaid. This, um, we call it buffalo, buffalo plaid, buffalo check, just one or the other, but really good cut of parts and that sort of thing. So, I grabbed that. <clears throat> I also, the first time I went in, I had forgot to get, I meant to pick up some of these little um, stickers. They're like uh, puffy stickers, but they are the um, gingerbread men. Because I do have that pack of paper that is full of gingerbread men. And also, not only is this just traditional for Christmas, but that particular paper pad also has a lot of peppermint stuff in it. And so, I picked these two things up. And then the first time that I went through, they did not have these. And so I went through again on my second trip and they had these. The only thing is that this was the last pack they had. And it's sort of, um, they're starting to ravel just a little bit. So I'm going to have to trim them just to um, make them nice and fresh. But they're still really cute. And I thought that that wasn't bad for five um, really cute clips. So yeah, so I got those. I am not one to do a whole lot of stamping, but I did get some stamps for this um, year that I want to use on, you know, some of the more solid papers. And um, so I went ahead and just grabbed the cheaper ones because I'm not really sure how much of them I'll actually use. These were only $2.99, I think, something like that. So they're cheaper, but I got the gold metallic. I got the silver metallic. And then, of course, black. And I think between... All of the things that I'll be doing this year, this will be probably all that I need. And that's the only thing I got other than I did get another. It's a scrapbook case. Um, it's just one of these. Um, I keep washi in it, but for um, storage purposes and for crafting, I am uh, short one of these because I've tried to condense all of my Christmas stuff down into one thing. So I got that and this. And so that is going to be the end of my Christmas crafty stuff for the most part. I did get some stuff from Target Dollar Spot. And then I'm going to get an album and an actual December daily kit from scrapbook.com. But I'm waiting till payday on that one. <laughs> so when I went to the Target Dollar Spot, they finally, I had been kind of holding off. 
uh, they had not put a many, that many things out at my Target. So when I went back, I found a couple of things of washi. Um, this is the one that's the scalloped gold. And um, I really liked it. I thought it was unique. You don't get a whole lot, but I mean, you really don't need a whole lot. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and grabbed that one. And this was the other one. It is a white with a um, red foil, I believe, and snowflakes. Um, they had lots of others, but I mean, they had like the Buffalo check and they had several different others, but I already have some in my collection that are very similar to those. I just really liked these and thought that they would be perfect. So I grabbed those. So I also found these wood pieces. There's, it's a 10 count of these different wood pieces. So you have like the, um, candy canes and the wreaths, the word Mary, the word believe and believe has, I don't know if you can tell through the package, but it has like this iridescent glitter on it. And then two of these that are just the wood color that um, say joy. And I really thought that these would be perfect for, um, you know, like pocket letters and December daily, all kinds of things like that. The only other thing that they had that I was really looking for, and now I'm done with the Target Dollar Spot because <laughs> I finally found everything that I was looking for, and that was the glitters that they had. So, I grabbed the um, little, these are gl actual glass with stoppers. Um, I got the silver, they're just hexagon shaped. Um, I thought all of these would be great for shaker pockets. It just says chunky glitter. They were a dollar a piece. And um, yeah, um, for this little glass vial um, of the silver, I thought that was really pretty. They had it in gold. And so I got it in gold. And then also in red. Now those all are in the hexagon shape. Then I was able to find, these are my favorite, I think. Um, I found the snowflake shape iridescent white clear colored um, glitter. I went home and, and since, you know, I can use this for Christmas and winter, I just went on and um, grabbed two of these, but I just think it's beautiful. I mean, I'm sure it'll go a long way, but if I'm making a lot of shaker pockets or making a shaker um, pocket at, into my pocket letters and things like that, I really liked those. And then I found some gold stars. I was really excited about those because I thought those were really neat for Halloween or Christmas. Really liked that. And then, of course, these are the um, Christmas tree shapes. And they're really cute. And there's actually um, a wooden one stuck in this one. Not sure how that got there. But <laughs> anyway, there is a... Um, it's just a um, holographic kind of material. I don't know if you can see how it sparkles, but um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much my haul. That's all that I've got. The only thing I have left now to do is to get my, um, my kit that I plan on using. I'm gonna be using something from, I'm, I'm thinking about using one from Simple Stories. And I'm just going to grab it off of scrapbook.com. And yeah, so that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. I'm sorry that I've not been uh, plan planning very much recently or well filming for that much. But um, I have been having some health problems and I'm trying to gear up for December. I'm going to be doing a lot of filming between Vlogmas and a lot of filming doing you know, December daily and, the, on, you know, all that on top of my regular planner videos and makeup videos. So I hope that you guys will be patient with me. Um, I've only put up one video in a week and you know that I usually film every day. I'm trying to get back into it. It's just a slow process for me. I'm hoping to know soon what's really going on. I'm getting conflicting ideas. So <laughs> it's just one of those things. But guys, I do hope that you enjoyed, you know, this quick little haul. Um, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because I would really very much appreciate that. And I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys for supporting me and continuing to watch, even if uh, I've been sporadic lately. Um, just stick with me. I promise I'm going to get it all straightened out. And I'm really looking forward to a wonderful December. I think it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be very busy, but I think that's what I'm going to like so much about it. I can't wait to do all this filming for you guys. That's going to be it. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will talk to you later. Bye.